Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I am your host, Keisha King. I am so excited that you are joining us here today. I know it's the middle of summer, but I want you to think about winter. As muggy and hot as it has been here in our beautiful state of Hawaii, winter vibes might not be a bad idea. <laughs> but when we think winter, I don't know about you, if you have a dance background or not, but I think about the nutcracker. And today, our special guests are the Ballet Hawaii Executive Director and Art Director. Please welcome with me to At the Crossroads with John Parkinson and Pamela Taylor Tong. Hi, <laughs> Hello, hi guys. Hello. So good to see you all. Thank nice you for being be here. here today. Pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, indeed. And Christmas in June sounds about right to mm -hmm. me. You Getting know, ready. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. you might as well yeah. start thinking about it. It'll be yeah. here before you know it. I'll cool you but, off. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's been scorching hot lately, That's so right. it's That's okay right. to think about winter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So when we think about Ballet Hawaii, I just love everything about it. I've been learning so much thanks to our conversations and, of course, thanks to the Nutcracker, which I saw last season and I'm looking forward to now. Great. So you've seen the newly revamped version of yes. our Hawaiian themed Nutcracker. Yes, and yeah. I loved it. I got, as they say, chicken skin oh, when we were, yeah. you That's know, so good. I just saw, I, I wasn't expecting it. So when it, when it happened and I saw the woman and the man come out, but before we get into that, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Why don't we just slow down, pull back a little right. bit <laughs> and talk about the mission and vision of Ballet Hawaii. The mission is to teach primarily to produce, which we do Nutcracker and usually we do a summer production as well too, tied into our summer intensive uh, program. And then we present, we present different companies at different times. Um, and we also promote dance on the islands. So that's our mission. We're a nonprofit organization and that's our, our, our To teach, present, yes. produce, and promote dance in yes. Hawaii. Love it. That's what Let's makes go us over that again. Teach, teach present, present. Produce, <laughs> produce and promote. Teach, present, produce, and promote. Dance in Hawaii. Dance in Hawaii. John yeah. mostly presents and I produce, so that's why he puts it first. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but it's all the same. It's all equal. <laughs> it's a team yeah. effort. Yeah. It's a beautiful Certainly thing. Is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it is. so I'm sure you've seen hundreds, maybe even thousands of students come through Ballet Hawaii. I Sam certainly has. <laughs> <laughs> I came to Hawaii. Uh, I was marrying my husband. I was dancing with Atlanta Ballet, and I thought I'd retired, and I was very sad to do so. I'd been with um, Atlanta Ballet. Robert Barnett was my director, who was the original um, company member of George Balanchine's New York City Ballet. Oh, that's major. And this summer, uh, he's going to be here to produce one of his ballets that he did, we did Serenade two years ago, which was a, a New York City Ballet favorite, beautiful. Yes. So we're doing that in culmination of our summer intensive program, which starts July 8th, okay. culminates on the 27th and 28th. There'll okay. be an in-studio performance in case you're free. I that, will be free. That, right. would be, yeah. that would be good to see, and, and you'll see all of the different and, and students. And Bobby is, is, is setting reflections yes, on us. Yes, that right? is his yeah. ballet that he choreographed. Um, oh. So that will be very special. He's 94 years young and moves faster than I ever thought about <laughs> moving. Oh my goodness. And so that's a real treasure to have him. He's come periodically and, and it's always been a joy to have him. And the students really have enjoyed the history. He's re writing a book oh, and nice. um, with all the um, stories of the New York City Ballet. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there are tons of stories that could be shared about both the New York City Ballet, but right here too, oh, yes. for Ballet Hawaii. Yes. So you married your husband while you were in Atlanta or here? No, here, here. thinking I retired. And that was 34 years done. ago. 34 I thought I was years done. Ago. <laughs> and I was um, helping uh, friends that I had worked with on the mainland that were mm -hmm. producing a ballet, and I started teaching 12 um, dragonflies that were in Cinderella, and mm -hmm. then it snowballed, and 34 years later, here we are. But actually, Bali Hawaii is 43 years old. 43 years old. Yes. That's a lifetime. And it, so. was, <laughs> it began with Mayor Fossey's desire to have 
the city complete mm -hmm. with culture and the arts. And so he started a, the ballet company. His daughter danced, and it was funded by the CETA funds. And the board of directors was, were formed, and they continued on, and it's the same board of directors that is now not all the same, right. but not the same people, but the same entity. But a couple of the same people <laughs> yeah. are still here, and so that started in 1976. So beautiful. We've evolved from there, and um, we are Valley Hawaii. From beautiful. 12 students to over about 500 mm -hmm. students who take with for us the school, for the school because there was no yeah. school at the time. It was right. a board of directors, and they they produced uh, Brzezhnikov and Friends and a number of, of ballets that were connected. They were people that came in and wow. set the dances. I love that. I yeah. love that. So mm -hmm. I love their strength in the arts mm -hmm. and their strength in numbers. And I love the fact that over 500 people were in the school at that time. And there were just such a great need. So you guys are providing a need for arts and self-expression that I, wasn't there before. Lately, I've, gone, I've been saying, when you support Ballet Hawaii, you help keep Honolulu interesting. That's right. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> We're still alive and kicking. Yes, yes. And you, thinking you retired after mm -hmm. 34, yeah. and yeah. you have now 34 years, 34 years in Hawaii. Hawaii. It's been a yeah. nice second career. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> day in and and actually, day you've given me something to think about, which is to try to figure out how many students have actually graduated mm -hmm. or gone through Ballet Hawaii's program. Mm -hmm. That's that would, right. That would number in probably... That's Multiple, a wonderful high thousands, if not tens of thousands. A wonderful wow. joy to see yeah. them go from age three all the way to graduate, and then they come back and take adult class. So it's remember not too too late. We'll get into that. Yeah. I want to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to show some pictures right now right. of some of our younger students all because right. they start very early. You they said do. age three. So yeah, we're yeah. taking a look at some of those. Oh, look at them. They're yes. so cute. They are cute. And they start my, so young. My right. favorites, and they give good hugs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Next picture, look at them. So they're in the <laughs> class with their cute tutus. I remember those days, yeah. both as a student and then mm -hmm. as a dance mom. It's our princess camp that we have oh. every summer. Every summer you have a princess camp. Princess so camp. there's a princess camp going on right now. Uh, was. We was. just finished just it a finished. couple of weeks ago. Our right? classes are ongoing year round. Okay. Yeah. That's terrific. Yeah. The, the, I love the, that. The, the school operates on four sessions a year plus a summer intensive. Beautiful. So four sessions a year, a summer intensive, so All winter, spring, summer, summer intensive, and yeah. then we have workshops and camps that we do along the way as well. Wow. So that sounds like over 10 classes, 10 different sessions of classes that you offer Monday year through round. Sunday. All Monday the, through uh -huh. Sunday. In two locations. In two locations. Yeah. So where's your first location? Um, our primary, uh, well, our, our, primary. Our, our biggest location is in town mm -hmm. on <clears throat> South Hotel Street, mm -hmm. and our second location is in Waipahu. Mm -hmm. And we have two beautiful studios out in what we call Ballet Hawaii West. Love that. Yeah, it's really Love amazing. It. Yeah. You guys are doing dynamic work. We're trying. The studios mm -hmm. are beautiful. I've <laughs> seen are. pictures. I haven't right. been inside yet. Right. But when I come, I think I want to see what you have for adults. So oh, please. Yes. <laughs> Many <laughs> different right. classes. That's yeah. a, a very, very beginning class that we call Not Too Too Late, Not which too I too refer late. to. Right. And <laughs> then we have uh, classes that are in the morning, 10 to 11.30. And that's for, it's a mixed level. And, okay. and people come, they enjoy the movement and the music and, and the exercise. And it's, it, they're bonded. And then, and then we have an additional, we have two other classes that are evening. Tuesday and Thursday evenings at 6.30? 6.30. At 6.30 to 8. To okay. eight. And, uh, and then, of course, on the weekends, we also have adult classes. So you can, you know, if you have day. an interest in dance, come on down. We got a, we got a class for you. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so if I'm interested, I can come Tuesday, Thursday, 6.30 till 8, or the weekends, or during the day. 10 o'clock. 10 to 11.30. 10 to yeah. 11.30. That's for adults. So, any ladies or gentlemen out there, it's not too, too late. It's <laughs> not too, too late. <laughs> that is true. Awesome. That's beautiful. So, you have something for all ages. Everybody. Starting at 3. Right. 103. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pass out there. Pretty much. Yeah. How old is our oldest student? I, 80 something? I, I don't know. I don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't ask a lady her age. That's right. 
<laughs> well, well, we, have, we have several men who are, who, mm -hmm. who are taking as well. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we yeah. do. Many yeah. men, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. For stretch and strengthening yeah. exercises mm -hmm. as well, too. Yeah, because ballet does that for us. Mm -hmm. It stretches your limbs. Mm -hmm. It keeps you limber, mm -hmm. right? And when you're doing the floor you movements, you're actually working your feet. And mm -hmm. That's a whole Legs and different body. set of... Yeah. Yeah. coordinations right <laughs> you don't have to tell me because when you can't move them also. <laughs> but you do zumba so i think that's that's, yeah. that's yeah. good too yeah i do but you know sometimes you need to mix it up a little right. bit yeah yeah. Would be yeah it's all about ballet hawaii yeah. right now yeah. ballet hawaii cross training right? that's right yeah. <laughs> love it love it so now tell me about your staff how many staff members do you have? We have seven full-time staff and probably an, uh, another 20 teachers, teachers part-time teachers. And uh, so the staff is a mix of teachers and admin support in order to do what we do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the teachers are an amazing assortment of group of people who, team who love dance yeah. mm -hmm. and love imparting what they know about dance. And, and right. donate a lot of their time yeah. that's above and beyond what yeah. You know their salaries say right. well, that's our, all our, teachers yeah. the, the point person on the school is leslie young who's our school administrator and she is amazing yeah she just she, she what she manages to get done and keep organized and mm -hmm. keep the school running down the road is amazing yeah yeah it takes a team to make these it types does. of things work yeah <laughs> I, i'm just thinking of all the you know all, all the all, work everybody you know yeah. it's uh, if you start naming names I, if i start yeah. naming names I, it well it's easy you know because yeah. we're, we're a small but we have uh raven matsushita garcia uh, garcia who's been with us since she was, she was four years of age and now she started a, with me <laughs> now she's teacher and and does and and helps us run parts of the school we have uh, mickey kohlberg who is a, a ballerina from from she was from originally a Kirov, but Louisville, right. different, different, different companies. companies and, yeah. and now she's here teaching and, and running other parts of the school. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Mar Marcy Munnerlin, who was a former Cunningham dancer, who helps us with development. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Shana Cowie, who is our um, uh, like office administrator. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Christine Kaminsky is one of the people that has started our performing group of the mm -hmm. higher level of students and mm -hmm. she's been um, really instrumental in getting the younger dancers out and into the community. Mm -hmm. And yes. Susan Kwong, who has been instrumental in getting the West Side going, has, has, is deeply involved with the uh, uh, performing ensemble, mm -hmm. as is, well, Nikki, of course, is involved with that. And then, uh, and, uh, and then we have just a host of teachers who yes. have been with so us a wonderful. long time. and. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. What I hear is um, a lot of years. I, I'm hearing people who have we started since We have an amazingly dedicated three. staff. So once you're in, you're in. The track, the track, <laughs> actually, right. the track for, for students you're talking about? Yes. So the track for students is if you come in at three years old, mm -hmm. you, if you stay with us, mm -hmm. um, which many do, mm -hmm. um, you're graduating high school at 17, 18, and by the, you start at 45 minutes a week at three years old on a Saturday. Uh -huh. By the time you finish, you're coming five days a week, an hour to two, you know, an hour and a half to two hours a day. And quite frankly, at that point, you are a sort of an artist athlete warrior. Yes. I mean, these guys, they're, 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 these, <laughs> these women are fierce. I love yeah. that. Yeah. We yeah. believe in that. <laughs> we believe in fierce yeah. and strong, strong right. women. Strong women. Yeah. That's, That's right. True. I That's love true. what you guys are doing, and we're going to talk more about some of the performances. We're going to go to break right now. We are talking with John and Pam. I feel like this is the John and Pam and Keisha show. <laughs> we're talking about Ballet Hawaii. And when we come back after this break, we're going to talk about the Nutcracker. So be right back. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Dennis Wong, a host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you'd go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. 
Aloha, my name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. Aloha and welcome back. You're watching At The Crossroads. I'm your host, <laughs> Keisha King. And today we have Ballet Hawaii on with us. And we are talking about all things dance and fun. And I am so happy to join, to be joined by Pamela and John. Thank you, Keisha. Uh, Thank thanks you. for having us, Keisha. You yeah. know what? It is totally my pleasure. I've learned so much about the organization and the fact that you guys have been here for so long. That you uh, got started because of someone taking the initiative to bring art back to Hawaii to keep it interesting here in Hawaii. And now I want to move into what is probably one of the most exciting things that you do all year. <clears throat> Although it sounds like you do a lot of great things all year long, but it all culminates to the major performance of the Nutcracker at the end. Can you please talk to us about the special Hawaii connection to the Nutcracker? Well, when we thought about doing a new Nutcracker mm -hmm. that was set in the 1858 Kingdom of Hawaii. We have a picture we're looking at right now, and which is beautiful. Yes, and that is the legend of Lohiau and Hi'iaka. Lohiau, um, Hi'iaka was Pele's sister. Mm -hmm. And um, so it, it's all, there are so many different concepts that are within the ballet. Subteam Weber was a choreographer mm -hmm. and he was a history major mm -hmm. and as well as being an amazing choreographer. Mm -hmm. So he loved getting into the history of Hawaii. Yeah. And so that's why it is set in Washington Place mm -hmm. and um, the home of Mary Dominus, now the governor's mansion. Mm -hmm. And that is where um, uh, Queen Liliwo Kalani met John Dominus, mm. and four years later, after this party, they were married. So it was quite. There's so much history that is yeah. is in the ballet, and the snow scene is on Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, mm. and so that's the um, beautiful scenery that you would see. Okay. And then the um, the second act is. Flora and Fauna, it has tulip flowers and it's a garden scene. Mm -hmm. And so we have orchids, Spanish orchids. Yes. We have then Lohiao and Hiaka, the Arabian, which is the music. Mm -hmm. And then we have the EEV birds and the black cat. <laughs> Just right. goes on we and on and on. Mama and Moana, yeah, Mama Moana uh, and yes. the uh, clownfish come mm -hmm. out, and mm -hmm. then crown flowers, which was the queen's favorite flower. That crown flower. So it's a very traditional Nutcracker music. in many respects. We use the same music, and we and, uh, we're using the same segments of music. And right. and what Septim did was choreograph into those segments using Hawaiian themes, and right. uh, our audiences connect with that. Yes. It's really quite something. Now, at the beginning of the show, I mentioned that, and I talked about when I saw the performance last year, how I literally got chicken skin because I am not from here, and yet I understand the connection and how, how much pride the people here must feel when they see that in a very classic, very traditional musical ballet. So I know the feedback has been powerful for that. And quite frankly, most people are just blown away at the, the scale of the production and mm -hmm. the quality of the production mm -hmm. that Ballet Hawaii presents. Yes. You guys are amazing. You're doing well, great work. it's a wing and a prayer, and we're blessed to be able to have this symphony. It's a little bit more than that. <laughs> I think so. I think you're being modest. Let me do it for you. Just pat yourself. Just, just try it, Pamela. Just pat yourself on the back and say, you did a great job. Right. Well, I, we, I bring, we bring um, professional dancers from major, major companies in the United yes. States. who are principals in their yes. company, which yeah. so is amazing. So New York amazing. City Ballet, Pacific Northwest Ballet, Carolina Ballet. Look at that. Look at the work uh, that. 
is, American is this person, yes. now, who is this that we're looking at right here? That's Leslie Rausch, and she is a principal with the Pacific Northwest Ballet, and she's, she's mm -hmm. been a guest artist. And they're wonderful role models for the students. Yes, now mm -hmm. this is something that you and I talked about. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's not very hard to convince somebody who may be in New York or someplace else very cold, hey, why don't you come to Hawaii? Yes. 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 A, week in, a week in December in Hawaii yeah. sounds pretty good to just about everybody who lives on the, who lives on the continent. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so they get here and they do what with our student, your student? Well, they, they dance the principal roles mm -hmm. and then the corps de ballet is made up of the most advanced students in the school. And then we have um, bumblebees, and the little ones are in um, the roles that they're able to do, and mm -hmm. they work their way up. Mm -hmm. Because it's a little daunting to be on the stage mm -hmm. with the orchestra mm -hmm. and yeah. costumes and sets yeah. coming down. Up. Oh, look at that set. Look at that. So yes. beautiful. That is That's... the end of our snow scene. Ah. At the end of Act One. Mm -hmm. At the end of Act One. And they're one. going off in a boat. Yes. Beautiful. And we've chosen to use that as our backdrop today because I think it's stunning. <laughs> it's amazing. It is. It is. It is. It always amazes me, too. Yes. I love it. I love it. So you guys bring in people from all over, mm -hmm. and then they come here, they work with our students. They're the principal dancers for the Nutcracker. In their own companies, in their, in their, their major own. companies. Right. So right. when you see our Nutcracker, you're seeing principal dancers dance roles that normally corps de ballet or soloists are dancing. So the, the, quality, the quality of our dancing that you mm -hmm. see in the roles, it's a lot of the roles here, mm -hmm. is you, you don't need to go to New York to see some of the best dancing in the world. Say that again. Look at this camera right here <laughs> and <laughs> tell everybody. You, you don't. don't have to go to New York to see some of the best dancing in the world. You yes. Can, you can stay here in Honolulu and enjoy an amazing Nutcracker experience. I love that. And that's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. Right. I've experienced I will yeah. be there every year for it, probably more oh, than once. Right. That's great. Right. Right. I think it's important to go and to support. Yeah. To support the, right. the yeah. uh, company. Yeah. And Indeed. it's fun to do. Yes. I mean, how fun is it to know you're supporting a local organization mm -hmm. and being fabulously entertained at the same time? Exactly. That's exactly. the end of Act Two right there. Oh, look how With gorgeous. With the tulip flowers and yes. the rainbow. And a fairy turn comes down in, in the basket and takes mm -hmm. Clara up mm -hmm. <laughs> in the air. Yeah. I loved it. I love it. It's so beautiful. The artwork, who does all of this backdrop? Um, that? The, oh sets, uh, yeah, the sets were done, um, and they came to Hawaii. And um, the was, on the, Septim worked with a designer a team. in... Um, in from back uh, from in Washington that he'd worked a number of different shows with. Yes. And I am drawing Costumer. a complete black. Holly? No. I'm... Yeah, Holly Highfield. Holly Highfield, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Beautiful. Highfield did, um, did the uh, scenery and the props. And mm -hmm. then um, our lighting designer is a guy, is a guy called Trad Burns, mm -hmm. um, who is really, really Amazing. excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really excellent. Yeah. I would have to agree because it just looks amazing. The colors are so vibrant. Right. Yes. And yeah. you just feel it. It's right. just beautiful. And it's I got to, you know, we got to send a shout out to uh, the Hawaii Symphony playing yes. for us. Yes. It totally changes the nature of the performance yeah. in, a, in a very positive way. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And awesome. So many of the students have not ever had the opportunity to dance with the orchestra as well. Mm -hmm. too, so that yeah. I think that makes a difference to them. And, and, it, and that segues into something that we did talk about, which is the idea, uh, which is our angel program. Yes. And we do a performance um, for children who are attending Title I schools mm -hmm. um, and are w with social services mm -hmm. and also with the families of uh, uh, military who are deployed. Oh. Or about to be deployed. So we create a re we we create some real special moments for people who might not be able to see dance otherwise, mm -hmm. or give or give people an opportunity to get away from their everyday realities. And right. uh, 
We provide that at no cost, including the transportation. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I've seen them unload by the bus loads. <laughs> they come right. in and they're all excited. Yeah. And I just can't imagine how many imaginations you're sparking yes. for these children. Yes. We, yes. we get drawings from the Angel Kid program sometimes, <laughs> so from beautiful. the Angel Kids sometimes, and uh -huh. we call them the Angel Kids. And, yes. uh, and, I love it. And, 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 uh, <laughs> you will be amazed at the retention of what visual retention mm -hmm. that we get in those pictures people they re they remember a lot it's yes. really quite something that's yeah. the beauty of all of the arts is that it's a beautiful dynamic way of teaching mm -hmm. and and you get so much comprehension and just as you said retention yeah. there's so many lessons learned yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Fires their imagination. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's what you want to yeah, do. We do. That's what you want to we do. do. Because, you know, we never know who's going to be our next who. Mm -hmm. Pamela yeah. Taylor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's sitting somewhere in the audience right now. She did you know. <laughs> you just never know. And so you that's do. What we you want do. Yeah. Who you can inspire. We had, we had one, one kid who came as to see an angel performance, and mm -hmm. years later, he fell in love with dance years later, started taking classes, mm -hmm. and he ended up at Bally Hawaii performing in one of our shows for an angel audience. See? Yeah, full circle. Full circle. Full circle. I love it. Yeah. Chicken skin again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start crying, get all excited. <laughs> oh, you guys are delightful. And Thank what you. you're doing is amazing. I can honestly say I believe what you're doing is changing lives. No, um, thank, I'm you. A, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. Now, I know you've been here 34 years. We didn't touch on how new you are, but you've probably been there since forever. Uh, I've, I know I've, I've been in here. Hawaii about 30 years and, uh, and with Ballet Hawaii about 10. Yeah. The, yeah. He left baby. and he came back. Yes. Yeah, he missed it so much. He <laughs> stay away. Cecil, never yeah. leave. That's the key. Yeah, Just never leave. Go. And John <laughs> had a dance background, not performing, no. but mm -hmm. on the technical side yeah. in really? New York. So. Uh, so he had that experience yeah. before. We, All the more reason why you should, why we say you don't have to go to New York. We locked him up in Parowet Prison and he <laughs> <didn't get out>. <laughs> <laughs> Just for our audience, I'm going to tell you, Pam said, I'm not going to talk much. <laughs> She's been on it, on it, Pam. <laughs> I'm very shy. I yeah, yeah, yeah. We can I tell. I don't yeah. talk. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> John, I see what you mean now. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for being here thank today. You, I can't wait to hear more about what you have going yes. on. We'll probably get you back right before the Nutcracker. We have happens. lots of things to talk about all the time. Uh, lots yes. of always new ideas coming at us so, yes. and things that we want to try out in the community and mm -hmm. see if there's traction. So, yeah, that'd be That's great. That's right. And yeah. I want to be a part of some of those things. Okay. Yes, wonderful. Yeah. So I'm looking and forward remember, to that. class, not too, too late. It's not That's too, right. too late. <laughs> That'll be something. Yeah. 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 If I get to pick the colors of my tutus, then fine. Okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. No problem. <laughs> awesome. You guys, you've been watching At the Crossroads, where we've been talking with John and Pam from Ballet Hawaii. We'll see you next time. Aloha.